So recently I started playing around with an AI powered word processor. It's called Lex. Now Lex is kind of like word, but think of word with AI or artificial intelligence built in. With Lex, I was able to generate book chapters like this based on this specific topic. And just for fun, I wanted to test to see if Lex could produce a recipe based on this. So how to make a cheese bass cake, which is one of my favorite cakes. And it shared what ingredients you need and the directions. I was also able to produce an article or a list of tips, in this case, 10 iPhone tips for productivity. And really, it doesn't stop there because there are so many other use cases when it comes to AI. Like many other AI writing tools and assistants, Lex is powered by OpenAI's GPT-3. And up to this point, what it produces and generates is based on a certain amount of data that it's collected and pre-trained up to about mid-2021. Now, signing up to Lex is free. However, there is a little caveat. When you go to their homepage, it's lex.page, you sign up using Google and yep, you'll be on a waiting list. There's currently 21,847 people on this list at the time of this recording. However, when I signed up back in November, I was just trying to see what it was all about. I waited no longer than two weeks. I don't know how this queue is progressing nowadays, but they do offer a paid option. So if you wanna use Lex quicker, become a paid subscriber to Every, which is the company behind Lex. The waitlist is part of their business model in my opinion. It's kind of like when Clubhouse first came out and you weren't able to sign up unless someone invited you. So I think they wanna create this anticipation, this mystery behind it, this curiosity thing that they wanna build. So that's what it is. But if you do wanna skip the queue, you can sign up and be a paid member. Now, before I show you how to use Lex, I wanna mention that I'm not a pro user of Lex. I've only played around with it and kind of talked about it with my team and seeing how we can integrate this and incorporate it into our existing business. So what I'm gonna show you, it's not gonna be everything. It's not gonna be a full-blown comprehensive tutorial, but let's get started. I'll show you how the interface looks like. All right, once you've logged in, you'll see all your documents and there is a way to create a new folder so you can organize things, but just Right off the bat, you can create a new document. So we'll click on new document. And straight away, you can see the interface is quite minimal, quite basic, simple, but it does incorporate some of the kind of main functionalities and formatting options that you kind of find in your usual word processor, such as pages or Microsoft Word. At the top, you got the basic formatting options. Now we'll go through some of these options later on, but this is where your canvas is. This is where you can start writing. And the great thing about Lex is sometimes you might get stuck and I'll show you how to kind of overcome that using AI. So basically you start by entering what the title of your content is. It could be an article piece. It could be your video outline. It could be an essay, your research paper, anything you like. So in this case, let's keep things really simple. So I've entered my topic slash title, which is top five productivity tips for freelancers. And when you press enter, that's when you can start writing your piece of content. In this example, let's say you wanna write an article or a blog post that you wanna post on your blog or perhaps on medium.com. So you can start writing, let's say your intro. All right, so I've quickly gone ahead and wrote an intro. Many freelancers wanna get more done so that they can scale their freelancing business. I could end it there or I could use the power of Lex to complete this sentence or elaborate on this sentence. So in order to do that, you can go on your keyboard and press plus, 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 all right? You press uh, or type in type plus, 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 and then that will generate the rest of the sentence. And you can see here, it knows what your topic is about. So it's kind of uh, gone ahead and wrote some points. After a certain number of words, I'm not sure on the specific number, it does stop, but you can ask Lex to continue on with the rest of the article if you'd like or you can continue writing yourself manually. But if you do want to continue, again, repeat. So shift and I'll do plus, plus, plus. That'll continue on. The other command also is command enter if you want to do the same. Otherwise on the PC, I believe it's control enter. And as you can see, it did continue on, but there's a little bit of a bug where it didn't really continue on that listicle. So I can just go back and then that will uh, make it into a numbered list. Now, a fair warning and disclaimer before I continue any further, because I know what you're thinking. AI is all great, but with the content that it produces, is it safe for me to 
publish it online? Well, the short and simple answer is I would highly suggest against simply and literally copying and pasting what it produces and then publishing it on your website or your on your blog or on social media because in most cases you will get penalized for plagiarism or get caught by you know, actual people who are able to spot it. So with AI, I would simply take it with a grain of salt, right? It's artificial intelligence and I would use it as an assistant whenever you have writer's block or you're stuck with some of your words and that is it. And at the end of the day, it's your responsibility to fact check and to ensure you aren't infringing any copyright laws. Now, of course, with what I've already produced, I'm just showing you as an example and a scenario so that you, I can show you how Lex works. I wanna show you something else with Lex. Whenever you wanna generate title ideas, which is a pretty useful feature, when you first type in your title and then click on generate title ideas, you get this error. It says the AI needs a bit more text before it can generate title ideas. The reason why is because it needs to gather enough context and ideas in terms of what your article or this content piece is about which is why you kind of want to do that later on. You want to produce your article or your content and then you can generate the title ideas. So you can see now this is a completed article as an example, click that and now it's generated the titles. It's come up with some pretty good ones including unlock your productivity with these five freelancer tips, increase your efficiency with these five proven freelancing strategies and the list goes on and that's how you use the generate title ideas feature. You can bring up more options by pressing Command K or on the PC, I believe it's Control K. Let's go ahead and type that in. And then what you can do is generate text like before. You can create a different formatting of the headings and bulleted lists, numbered lists, to-do lists, and more. You can also use the top toolbar to format your text as you can see. On the right, you'll see settings, and this is where you can see the actual word count. Switch between dark and light modes. You can also collaborate with your team by clicking on share, and then you can copy the edit link, simply copy, and then share with your team members. At the beginning of this video, you saw how I was able to generate book chapters, and I simply did that. I prompted Lex to generate book chapters based on this topic, and then I pressed plus, 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 and then it produced this. Now, if I do delete this, it may produce a different result. So that's the great thing about using Lex as well. You're not stuck with the same type of result. In this instance, this is what it produced. I can continue on because this looks like it wasn't completed. So I'll simply press plus, plus, plus again. And there we go. So there's that issue of lists again. So all I need to do is just simply clean that up. Now, an idea just came to mind while recording this. And that is if you're watching this and you're a course creator, a teacher or a coach, you could very well use Lex to help you produce your course modules and even quizzes. So for example, I've got this blank canvas with quiz on it. And let's say uh, your question, or you wanna create a quiz based on capital cities, you could get Lex to produce one and say, create a quiz uh, based on uh, capital cities. Uh, press plus, plus, plus. And it spit out some questions and answers. You could also say, create a multiple choice quiz uh, based on capital cities and plus 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 although not perfect as you can see it's still formatted in a multiple choice quiz format and there you go that's how easy it is to use lex and what i really love about lex is its simplicity and minimal interface there's no distractions you know you're purely focused on just writing and just getting work done which is a huge plus for your productivity. And with the power of AI, the potential really is endless and up to your imagination. I only showed you just a surface level and a few prompt examples in this demo. But over to you, I'd love to know your thoughts on AI and how it's helping you in your day-to-day -day and your productivity and whether you've started using Lex and have any cool tips and tricks that you could share with us. Let me know in the comments and I look forward to sharing the next video with you.